Hiya. Welcome to the session. In this session, I'll show you how to clone a PDB locally. Okay, locally means I'll show you the direct uh, diagram, how we are going to perform that. The clone we can do in two ways. One is locally, another one is remotely. Locally means the same container database. We are making one PDB to another PDB. Remotely means uh, different CDBs, one CDB pluggable database to another CDB pluggable database. That we can do in a two ways. But in this session, we are going to see this way, cloning in locally. So I'll show you that. So in my system, I have PDB uh, pluggable database is there that I want to clone it to PDB3. Okay, we have PDB seed. Uh, in my previous session, I showed you how to create a PDB, new PDB from the seed. Okay, if you want, you can go through my uh, YouTube channel. You can uh, watch that. Okay, we have that uh, in our uh, in our playlist, Oracle 19C. You will even watch it here. Okay. For procedure, local PDB clone steps, how I mean, how we are going to proceed. For that, we need to connect to our database and then list out the PDBs, how many PDBs we are having. And then from which PDB we are going to make a new PDB locally, how we are going to clone, that you can select it. That, that, that PDB should be in a read-only mode. If it is open, you can shut down and then start on read-only mode. Then only we can initiate the create pluggable database command. Okay, why we need to do this clone? Cloning is required as and when we have any uh, testings are there. We should not do those kind of testings directly on this PDB. Suppose we can do in, in a real time environment, if it is a production environment, we have the PDB, okay, production PDB. If you if you want to do some testing or if you want to develop some uh, new code functionality implementations, those we cannot do directly on this production box. Okay, production box. What we need to do, we need to clone copy of this PDB to another server. It make it as a dev DB. On this dev DB, we need to do uh, this clone. Like uh, on dev DB, we have another CDB container. PDB, we will clone it. On top of this, users can test their uh, issues or their new functionalities, they will implement it. Once this is successfully done, we can re-migrate that new functionality, we can migrate it in the production. But in our lab, what we are doing, uh, this is a demo instance, so we are doing uh, same, in a same container database. Okay, if some development team wants to do some testing, we are providing another PDB, we, they will not touch uh, the original PDB. They will test only the new functionalities all in this pluggable databases. So earlier days, we don't have any new, uh, this multi-tenant architecture. At that time, we are uh, very difficult to, uh, not difficult, I can say time consuming and resource consuming things to do the clone. But in multi-tenant architecture, the same production, if you want to do the, sim if you have a resource, you can do, the clone of existing PDB to another PDB locally, and then you can test those functionalities and migrate it to the live production one. That is also possible, but it is not at all recommended. It is just for a demo purpose. Okay, I'm just giving demo purpose. In, in live, the business purpose, they will follow according to their business needs. Okay, let me jump into our lab session. I'll show you. So I have connected to the database. I check the show. Deep. I have one PDB is there. So I'm, I want to do this clone of new PDB, like PDB three. I want to create using PDB one. For this, we want to check uh, where this PDB data files are stored. Alter session set container equal to PDB. I just uh, mean log into this PDB session. Let me show you. Yes, I have connected to the PDB. Let me check my data files of where this data files has been located. Select name from DBA underscore data underscore files. Okay, select file name. If, if you want to see the description, what exactly the column name, we can do this describe. Okay, this is the way, right way we can able to get the columns. Select file name, 
from db underscore data underscore file. See here, all my PDB related files is here. So what I'm trying to do, all these files, I'm trying to clone to the new PDB. So as I mentioned, PDB files, I'm calling a copy into PDB3. So for that, we need to kept our uh, this PDB2 read only mode. How we need to put, we have to shut down. Shut immediate. We need to shut down the PDB, uh, this PDB, and start up in read only mode. Okay, show cron name. If you want to switch to container, alt session set container equal to cdb dollar root. Show container to which container we connected? Show container, it shows root only. Then check show PDBs this PDB is mounted, that is fine, but we need to keep this PDB as read-only mode. We need to start alter pluggable database PDB read open read-only. If you keep only open, it will go to read-write mode, but if you want to open read-only, we need to mention open read-only. Just let me check the status. Yes, it is. It is read-only mode. Now, I want to create new PDB, PDB3. For that, we have our syntax, create pluggable database, PDB3 from PDB. Create file destination, where we want to create this file destination. See these files where we have, select this and paste it here. The path where we want to copy. I mean, this PDB will create in this, PDB3 will create in this location. With, with all the files which are having PDB1, okay? Let me initiate it. This way we can do the clone. It is very quicker because it's a demo instance, but in real time, as per your data, how much size of the PDB data, it will take time. Here it is. Our new PDB has been created, but it is in mount mode. Let me start this PDB, okay? Alter, like double database, PDB3 open. So now I have started. Now my PDB3 has been cloned successfully. Let me check the status. Show, show PDBs. Yes, it is. My PDB3 is up and running. Let me, if you want to start this PDB, right? First, we need to close that and then we need to restart it. Alter pluggable database PDB close and then alter pluggable database pdb if you want to see the status check it show pdbs it is mounted now alter pluggable database pdb open here it is so our two pad two pdbs are up and running now now uh, let me connect to this pdb alter pluggable database alter session set container equal to pdb3 show pdbs i don't think so only that will shows okay pdb3 if you want to see which container in that way also we can see or else con name container name equal to pdb3 select we can check now the files uh, we have this command right how to find our data files check this command See, inside of your Rags DB, whatever the path you have given, inside of that, it has been created one more directory, kind of this one. And there, this is your PDB name. If you don't want to give this, you can directly give the complete name of this PDB. That is another way we can create it. Anyhow, we have successfully cloned our PDB3 from PDB. Okay. And then we have one more thing. How we need to... Uh, unknown, like if you don't want this after your testing is completed, a resource will be utilized for this as well, right? If you don't want to this, you can drop this as well, okay? That I'll make it another session, how we are going to drop uh, unwanted pluggable databases, okay? Thank you for watching.